All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Percivus. Uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet uh, because I've had a lot of questions over this uh, video. Um, if you want to make your own stream deck with just like $10 instead of buying one of those Elgato stream decks for like 100 or something dollars, it's, it'll save you quite the money. Um, and this is so easy to do. Um, I wish more people knew of this, uh, so that's why I'm kind of recreating this video uh, you can watch my old videos uh, but this is a more updated version and wanted to see if I could answer some confusion uh, on those other videos but uh, this will save you money you can go buy a cheap Amazon or Walmart number pad for like $10 or even under um, I have an, a number pad or one of those one-handed keyboards that I use uh, but what you need to do, jumping straight into it, get HID macros. Uh, there's some comments on like HID macros is dead. Uh, it's actually not. Um, Lua macros um, took over HID macros. Like they're not supporting HID macros anymore, uh, which means they're not coming out with more versions. But HID macros is still open source and still available to use. So don't do Lua macros. Uh, that's more of a scripting uh, platform uh, to make uh, scripting and programming much easier uh, within uh, programmers' lives. Um, but you want to download this version 2.3. That's the final version. And what's great about this is that it's not going to be moving because it's not going to be supported anymore. So you don't have to download any further uh, versions. So. Uh, once you do that, go through the install setup very quick and easy. Um, I could show you it, but it's a waste of time. I want to get this to y'all so y'all can do this. Um, and y'all can rewatch this video however times y'all want. Um, and also, if y'all like this video, please give it a like. Give it a comment. Uh, maybe click that subscribe button. That'll be much appreciated. I'm um, hoping to create more videos like this. And also, start jumping on making videos again. Because my wife and I just had a kid. Uh, that's why I've kind of been away uh, but yeah so jumping into it HD, HID macros is this uh, UI right here uh, this is what you get whenever you install it um, this will be empty for you I already have two um, little programs um, and this will be the script that you will have to put in um, and you'll all I'll put everything down in the bio uh, go check that out um, but what you want to do is make a new, um, you want to have your other keyboard plugged in, of course, don't be an idiot. Uh, <laughs> plug that other keyboard in, um, and then you create a new macro. You want to name it, so I'm going to make this test, um, and then I'm going to have a trigger. So on your other keyboard, click one of the keys that you want, and then come down to the scripted area, and then I'm going to have this in the description for you go ahead and copy and paste that in there and what that is uh, you're going in through HID macros and then showing the keys you're making a new function key so f1 to f12 already taken donezo you're making new function key so f I already have 13 14 and let's make a 15 yep 13 14 15 and the 50 is the timing of how long it takes. So you can like make it go for longer before even uh, running the script. So after you put this in here, you want to compile. Make sure you click compile and then test. And then you can save that configuration. All right, let's go over to Streamlabs or whatever OBS like you use. Um, Go over to the face or whatever one you want to change to. Go to God, I'm 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 lost. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> want to go to the hotkeys and then scroll down to your scenes right here. Um, right now in my other scenes, I already have those programmed. So you want to go ahead to the one you created. If you want to change scene, you can also program them to one of these like uh, muting uh, you can mute your mic or something like that you can make it's you're pretty much making new hotkeys it's 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 awesome it's 
you've given yourself another keyboard that is acting like another keyboard. It's freaking sick. And you can do it however many one you want. Uh, you want to put in F15. Let me... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I made F15 right there. Boom. Alright, let me switch it to my other ones. So, I just switched it to my other scene with my other function key. And now, I'm going to click the function key I made. Boom. And it switches to that, as you can see there. So that is HID macros. I appreciate everybody coming by. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. But this is plain and dry. I want to give y'all, I want to give y'all an easy tutorial, some quick that you can replicate and incorporate into your own little studio. Um, but that is HID macros. If you need any help shoot me down in the comments below like um think about hitting that subscribe button i make gaming content i haven't in a while because my wife had a baby we had a baby um but i appreciate everybody um and more content coming soon deuces